Well, folks, welcome back to another Yon Mountain adventure. And today, we're in the Cairn Gorms National Park. And uh, welcome to the Cairngorm National Park. Um, we're in a beautiful place today. This is Loch Morlock, uh, which is a very, very famous water sports lock here in the area. And uh, I've been on this lock a million times. I've been coming here since I was a child. Uh, I'm very, very familiar with the place. And the views over the back here, looking over the great quarries, the Cairngorm, Ben McDewey, all dusted with snow still. Absolutely spectacular. Um, today, um, I looked at the weather forecast uh, and it said it was going to be mild, it was going to be maybe 5 or 6 mile an hour wind, 6 degrees uh, Celsius, um, but sure enough the actual reality is it's more towards zero so far uh, and there's gusts of up to 50 mile an hour winds. Now I was going to take a bit of a higher route, I was going to go on part of the Rivon Pass up uh, Mila Buchel uh, and up onto Cregan Gorm and then back down and do a circular um, but uh, it's going to be minus 15 wind chill and gusts of up to 70 or 80 mile an hour that's not going to happen so in actual fact this isn't just going to be a walk around the lock the big circular it's going to take about three and a half hours it's actually a reconnaissance mission um, I've uh, I slept in the car last night fantastic night's sleep um, but I've got the tent with us I'm going to do this circuit I'm going to do a little bit of a reconnaissance and if I find a perfect pitch I'll get the heavy pack on and we'll go and spend the night somewhere in the, in the Glenmore Forest here. This is an ancient uh, Caledonian pine forest, this, uh, and boasts a lot of history as well. Um, it's also very, very busy. You might hear the road noise in the background as well. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of tourists coming to try and get the last bits of skiing done uh, up on the uh, up on the Cairngorm range. I'm not so sure how successful that is, to be honest with you. And they're doing a lot of roadworks as well. Historically, this place is absolutely rammed, packed with camper vans and uh, motorhomes, and people are parking on the side of the road. And in actual fact, the Aviemore Local Council, the Highland Council, are now renovating the whole side of the road, so it's all going to be perfect parking for people, probably paying display. Uh, but what a beautiful place, and what a beautiful, what a beautiful day. I'm kind of hunkering down a little bit here, out of the wind. But uh, nonetheless. Um, that's a little bit about where we are and what we're going to do. So come along with us. I've got a little robin friend here as well. Um, they seem to follow us uh, all over. I'm going to give him. Uh, I'm going to give him a chocolate cookie, and uh, and we'll head on our way. Wow, it was blustery out there. Uh, we've taken a little bit of refuge here in the, in, the, in the forest here. So this is Glenmore Forest. These are ancient Caledonian pines. And here's a prime example. The smell from, uh, from this pine forest is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, and in the summer months, uh, when you've got, uh, you want to know it's really hot, actually the smell's quite intoxicating. It's absolutely beautiful. Now that's not only just due to the, uh, the Caledonian pine, it's quite a unique combination here as well because amongst the pine you've got plantations of silver birch as well uh, and they share the same root system and this happens all over this particular area Cairngorm National Park this combination of Caledonian pile, pine and silver birch and actually you can just see on here as well that's known as old man's beard the fauna and flora in this area is very very unique 
and it just makes for such a beautiful place and Kangol National Park have really monopolised on it there's some fantastic walks so what we've done here we're going to follow the circular that goes all the way around Loch Morlock um, it'll take about three and a half hours or so it's very flat I wanted to keep it flat today spinal specialists have suggested keep it low level don't go crackers uh, so I'm, uh, for once I'm, uh, I'm going to listen it's absolutely beautiful really really stunning and in actual fact as I've been going along the shoreline I've, uh, this is a reconnaissance mission as well for tonight's wild camp and uh, there's a couple of really magic spots as well so uh, as I'm going along I'm just making some mental uh, some mental markers and uh, we should get somewhere nice tonight if not there's abundance of places for an overnighter anyway right with no further ado before the uh, before the rain starts let's make my way through the trees Guys, just as a point of interest as well, if anybody's wanting to do this walk circular around Loch Morlock, um, there's plenty of leaflets available, but I'll just put a picture of the map. So if you want to screenshot it, by all means you can do. Um, follow the red markers, and it takes you all the way around. You do spend a little bit on the white, I think, which is a bit I'm coming to now to get over the river. Follow the red markers. Picture's coming on now. Well guys, looks like I found another perfect little spot here. Just at the uh, the corner the corner of Loch Morlock here. And you can see in the background uh, the two mountains, the bigger one of the two to the right is Mila Buckle, standing at 800 and something metres. That's a great hike that over the Rivon Pass. And just uh, just west of it is Craig and Gorm, which is where I was intended to go today. But you can see the clouds maybe is moving very, very fast over them there. There's signs all over this place uh, saying no fires and that's because uh, early to mid part of last year big swaths of this uh, Glenmore forest was burned down by wild campers being irresponsible with fires and it took out acres I'm talking serious amount of woodland habitats absolutely destroyed and the Cairngorm National Park were rightfully so absolutely raging about it so now there's signs all over the place saying no fires and rightly so absolutely what a beautiful place well what a beautiful walk now i've come up onto uh, onto a little bit further down the path here and it says that the road's closed and there's a few people mulling around and i think the sign basically means there's no kind of because there's maybe some forestry activity going on but in fairness I'm just going to wait until people head off and uh, I'm going to scoot along I can't see there being any problem so I've just taken the opportunity to just get myself a drink from the lock absolutely beautiful very very nice indeed uh, this water filter um, is a real good bit of kit uh, very very cheap as well uh, I'll show you it Water filter straw, mini outdoor filter, medical grade filtration material, and it removes 99.9999% of bacteria and equal to or more than that protozoa as well. And the water just comes in uh, from the left, filters out through the right. Really good bit of kit, very good. How refreshing drinking water straight from the lock absolutely fantastic I'm just going to take in the scenery for a couple of minutes beautiful views over the hills watching the clouds go by and we'll head off along our way we're well off the beaten track here like the Ospreys have been out there's definitely been a kill there. Uh, there's absolutely no path here whatsoever, so I don't actually think this is a diversion. Uh, I was going to say I'm heather bashing, but I'm hoping to be knackers here. Anyway, it's very beautiful still. 
Uh, God, there's more, more feathers here. This is Osprey territory, this, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful woodland. Let's see if we can find my way. Right, let's press on. Ideally, I need to try and get back onto the road somehow. Uh, the vegetation here, uh, there's no path whatsoever. So much for an easy shoreline walk. Never mind, all part of the adventure. Still no flying blades, like, not one. There's a the sun. <laughs> wow. We're just cutting through here. Right, guys, no messing about, let's get who on. Right guys, so that's where we started, we followed the red, we came around here, now I reckon we hit the obstacle about there, and I cut across there, sorry massive bungle fingers, across there, now I reckon we're about here now, on the western shore, and we reckon we've just got to join the main road, come back along the old log and way, and I think the car's about there, so that's the circular that we've done. I did get a bit sketchy, but sometimes just a little bit of nav, having a map, basically knowing when you're on, what direction you need to go into, you'll, you'll always get there. Don't panic. You'll, you'll always get it. And of course, on this particular route, we just knew that we need to follow the lock, the lock shore around anyway. So we're back onto a proper path now. And I reckon we've only got half a mile, so we're back at the car. We'll get a brew on the go. While I am down this stretch next to, well, relatively near the car, I'm just going to scope out this area and just see if there's uh, any more pictures instead of walking all the way around. We're going to head over here. Right guys, right enough, we're back on the path, back onto the logging way, and I'm probably about 10 minutes away from the car. The more astute amongst you will have noticed, it looks like I've re-stitched and backward placed my uh, logo, my hat. Uh, I haven't. The, uh, the battery died on the DJI pocket, uh, so I'm just switching to the phone. Hopefully you can hear us all right, uh, and that the, the video quality is as good. Absolutely stunning views, really stunning views. Now I had a look through the woodland there and it's all far too boggy. There's no places to camp. So we're going to resort to plan B. And plan B is jump in the car and head over to Lock Garden. Uh, so let's see what we, can, uh, what we can find over there. Beautiful nature reserve, it's really, really stunning. Home of the Ospreys. I'll just leave you with that for five minutes and I'll see you back at the car. Right folks, back to the car, the wind is howling. Wow, really good walk, mind I must admit, really good walk. And I think if he's gonna, if he's gonna come, give it a couple of months or so until they're finished with the logging, because that, uh, that caused a bit of disruption. Otherwise, very nice, easy, accessible path. So plan B now, I'm gonna head uh, the, I think it's about five mile across to Lock Garden now, and see if we can find a place to pitch up for the night. Uh, so I'll bring you back in when we're down at the, uh, at the Lock Garden car park. Made it to uh, this is Boater Garden and this is Lock Garden. It's a nature reserve and it's absolutely stunning. Um, the weather forecast was meant to be the wind was dying down here, but it's blown a hoolie. Now I need to go and find somewhere to pitch up this tent. Now I don't know whether to go onto the western shore 
or the eastern shore. Uh, the wind's coming in. Uh, it's a northerly wind, so I think six and two threes really. Um, but I'm going to go and find a secluded spot. I'm going to do a little bit of reconnaissance now. And in fairness, worst case scenario, I'll just pitch up in the. T I'll just do a car camp tonight. So I've got some options, but I, re I would really like to get into the tent tonight. This is a really beautiful woodland. So guys, this brings us to the end of today's mission anyway. As far as this video is concerned, this is part one of the two-part Cane Go mission. Uh, so I'm going to go and get myself pitched up. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's adventure. Uh, if you have, and you feel like you want to, stick a like on, send us a comment. And uh, if, you, if you feel like subscribing, that would be great as well. Support the channel. Part two is going to carry on from this, uh, and it'll be the wild camp for this evening, or whatever I decide to do. So if you've liked the look of this one, and you want to find out what happens next, stay tuned, folks. Um, like I always say at the end of the videos, get yourself out into nature, get your blood pumping, you know, get your lungs filled with this beautiful fresh air. Forget about Facebook, forget about Instagram and all the social media and the telly. Get out, get a bit of prescription nature. I'll leave you with that, folks. Look forward to seeing you on the next year on a mountain adventure. Bye for now.